By some absolute miracle, it's game on this good Friday at Hungerford Town in a 7th versus 8th playoff push 6-pointer. We are so lucky it's on, I even said I'd eat my drum if it's on, so here's me with my breakfast. Even the Louis Pageant fan club thought it looked yummy. Last week, we finally won three straight on the bounce. Go for it. With that result, Jordan Iveball is in full swing as we have only lost the once in our last seven. The Crusaders are enjoying some decent results lately, even putting six past Harrow Borough last weekend. We last met near the start of the season and this is what happened. Jack. Non-league deadline day was yesterday and Jordan Ivers brought in 17-year-old centre-back Phil Croker from Oxford City but did you know he scored a hat-trick in the FA Cup last season and he's made two National League appearances this season? Probably not but there you go. Anyway, welcome aboard. As is always the target now, let's smash 60 likes on this video and as we approach ball pit lane, it has more stands than I have subscribers by the way, it's prediction time. Well, the weather's looking all right so far. I mean, it's a bit cloudy in places, but we're lucky this game is on today. I'm going to say a 1-0 Bracknell win. Imagine it, last-minute winner to take us above Hungerford and um, make it three straightaway wins and four wins on the bounce. Gemma, however, what is your score prediction? My score prediction today is a 2-1 win to us. I think we can we can do it today. And obviously, it's going to be a big, big game for those that push-off play. So, yeah, hopefully we can bring those three important points back home with us. This game couldn't be any bigger today. I mean, they've all been big recently in recent weeks, but this is massive. Seventh versus eighth. Let's do this. Let's get three points and make it four wins on the bounce. Come on, I'll see you inside Ball Pit Lane. So we've made it to Ball Pit Lane. It's only fair that I gave my own pitch inspection, if you like. And to be honest, it's held up really well. Fair play to this club. I mean, it's got a very good drainage system, apparently. The only cause for concern by the ref was this goal mouth over here. I mean, just look at it. But apart from that, it looks all right. It looks very playable. I've seen worse of pitches, so fair play. It is a bit uphill down that end. I believe we'll be shooting this way first half. But yeah, not bad at all. So I'm with a fellow YouTube vlogger covering non-league. Just give us your name and what you, your channel's about mainly. My name's Darren. My YouTube channel is Dash71. And each week I go to a different non-league round trying to uh, publicise them. Uh, score prediction today. I think it'll be a tight one. 1-1. Um, one, one. So this game today is absolutely massive. Like I said, a win today could put us in the playoff positions by the end of the day. If we win today and other results go our way, then fantastic. Last night, Harrow Borough held Wharton and Hersham to a 4-4 thriller at the XL Sports Hub. Harrow went 4-2 up, but unfortunately, Nana Urusu, our ex-player, leveled it right at the death for the Swans, um, which gave them a point. But, you know, for them to drop two points was good enough for us. Gemma's discovered an interesting sticker. What is it? Frank Lampard is a grass. What has Frank Lampard ever done? I'd be interested to know. I have no idea. Gemma has no idea. She's blowing her nose. I've had that recently. We'll ignore that for now. Go on in, go on in, go on in, go on in. Yes, Matthew! Attitude! That holiday's crazy, man. What's the score prediction? But he can't say 2-1. What? 2-0 then? I'm going to say 2-0. Go for it. Come on, you ones. Run for it. Come on, you Robins! Challenge! Oh my god, I missed it, but the wind blew the ball over Michael Ecott's head, and it's 1 0 already to Hungerford. That is so frustrating. Touch. 
touch it. Come on. Go on Aiden. Good touch. Cross it in. He has got a 50p at that one. Good job. Nice head on it. It's it. It's it. Finish. It's it. Finish. Oh. We go again. No, Mike's got that one covered. That's our ball, ref! That's our ball! He's got the fish in! Come on, ref! He's got the fish in! Love it! Hayden! Quality! Oh! Hit his ass! Oh, they've still got it! Another save. Triple save, Meacock. That's how you do it. Another lot of saves from Meacock to keep us in it. Oh, no. Oh, for goodness sake, 2 0 Tungerford. Great amount of saves from Meacock, but 2 0 down. And there we go, 2 0. A half chase is fading away. So frustrating after so many good saves, but 2 0. One upside of this, I don't know if you can see this, but we've got a full rainbow appearing in the sky. Boys, press him! Right, no! Time. We're lucky to be 2 0 down. I mean, Michael Eacott's kept us in it somewhat. At least six straight saves in that first half. So, yeah, we've got to do a lot better in this half. But had a few opportunities, to be fair, we have. But Hungerford, I think, are looking like the better team at the moment. Definitely, they deserve the win. And if we lose this, it's a big blow. It's not mathematically impossible to um, make the playoffs, but we need the win today badly. So, I think we can do it. I've seen Winchester come, come here from 2 0 down at half time. So, I think we can do it. Come on, let's have a better second half. Blue Army! Blue Army! We need a goal from this. Come on. Oh, it's mine. Hey! He got the drum. He got the drum. He got the drum. Referee, come on. Get your cards out. Come on. Shoot. Yeah. Puts us back in the game, it's 2 1. Come on, right? No, we're massive everywhere we go. Everywhere we go, one, two, three, four. Right? No, we're massive everywhere we go. Right? No, we're massive everywhere we go. Everywhere we go. Don't let him score now. Good block, excellent. Score. Oh, no. 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 Oh, no.
Context, I've been told to sit down. In Brighton right, no Town, we stand where we want. <laughs> where we want, we stand where we want. Right, right, no Town, we stand where we want. Sit down, you Robins. Come on, boys. Yes. Oh. That's a good ball, to be fair to him. Lobbing it over the keeper. No. Well defended. Not quite. Oh, come on. Clear it! That's game over. That's game over. That's 3 1 after a good counter attack, and I think that's game over now. Oh! That was close. Referee! Referee! That was dirty. It's all kicking off right at the end. That was a nasty push there, right at the end. Come on, this ref, come on. Sim, everywhere we go. <laughs> oh. What a fluke of a game this has been though. The thing was, I thought we played all right at times, but ultimately I think Hungerford were the better side today and are deserving of the victory. The playoff chase is still on. I mean, we're just three points off Hungerford, who now are in fifth position. So Monday, and I say it every single weekend, every game, the next game is a must-win game. And that is the case on Monday against Showling on Easter Monday. So we've got to turn up, we've got to be there. A draw simply would not be good enough in my eyes. Very much all in the air at the moment. It's going to be a tough couple of weeks. But Monday is simply a must win. We cannot blow it. We cannot bottle it next on Monday. So come on, boys. We've got to do it. We've got to go again and put today behind us. And um, bobbly pitch to be expected given the, uh, the rainfall in the week. But yeah, tough day. Um, leave a like if you have enjoyed and subscribe for more of these vlogs if you haven't already. We're back again on Monday against Sheldon, like I said. And uh, hopefully we can win it. And you join me for hopefully that one. But thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys very soon.